quickly. So we are going to learn more and more and more and more today. And today we are going to talk on one talk on the discussion of the day. We are going to talk about the life priorities. The life priorities. My name is Sankara Kayesu and this is White Fifo and this is why in the morning and I am not alone in studio because this is a heavy topic. Heavy as in it's full of values, not heavy to discuss, full of values. I am with two people in the studio and these two people are very important to me. They are joining me to, 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 I'm looking for the right word, the right English, to disambiguate. They are coming to help me to disambiguate the topic of the day and that is uh, the priorities. How are you guys? We are good. <laughs> this is uh, Yvonne and uh, the guy is Taleb. Those are the names I know and I am going to allow them to deeply introduce themselves one by one starting with the lady because uh, they, are, they say ladies first. Eh? Yes. Oh, hello everyone. I am Yvonne Chalo, a law student at the University of Nairobi. I am a young entrepreneur as well as a debater. You look so, yes. Why did you choose law? Because I wanted to fight for the rights of the voiceless. Did some voiceless, uh, did you see some voiceless somewhere yes. whose rights are not yes. being fought for? Yes. Oh, you'll tell me more. Yes, or maybe, maybe you'll come back for another show to, for a strength of a woman. I wonder why you are already a woman. Or not. But welcome to the show, Yvonne. Thank you. We are elated to have you. Then we have Kiongozi. Okay, good morning, guys. I'm, Kale, I'm Tale Bogola, uh, an aspiring politician. And uh, just that. What are your social media handles? You also didn't say we'll come back. Uh, my to social you. media handles. Uh, I'm uh, Tale Bogola. Kiongozi Tale Bogola. Yes. What do you do? Just like I said, I do political commentaries. Most what of the do you time. do for a living? For a living. The, uh, Honestly, at the moment, I'm a student. Okay. Yes. Where? At Moi. Oh, what do you study? Political science. Oh, okay. Yes. And you're aspiring Kiongozi. Yes, I'm aspiring. You already call yourself Kiongozi. I already you? call myself Kiongozi yes. because I believe I can. Okay. Yes. Nice. Did you say your social media handles, lady? No, I didn't. Yes. So, hmm, give us. Um, I'm on Instagram as Nthenya, just that. Mm, it looks nice, you know, it sounds nice. So welcome guys, let's talk about life priorities. Um, you know, uh, uh, you, you, both of you are students and you have what you want to put together in life after this so that maybe you have a better life. Eh? And some of us are even uh, like people are looking at us, people want to see how you live so that they live, yes? I don't know what you prioritize your life to be maybe after being a student. Where do you see yourself in 10 years after you quit being a student? I have two, two, two ways in which I see myself. Either the rich auntie vibes or being in a family. Oh. Yes. Explain the first one. <laughs> the rich auntie vibes being a, a woman, a very successful woman when it comes to my career, mm. and being very, very, very rich. Rich? Yes. <sighs> and traveling <laughs> everywhere. Yes, Komoka <laughs> is the one. Then the second one? The second one, when it comes to family, I would want to have a family mm. and be there for my children and guide them in ways that I was never guided. Mm. You get. Are you insinuating that you were never guided? No, I am not insinuating that I'm not. In ways that I was never. Maybe there was a, like a slack in An some... aspect that lacked yeah. in that. Yes. Uh, uh, just f finally on that, on what you want to do, you as Yvonne Tanya. Yes. Uh, does it mean that uh, the first priority clash with the, the second one? So that if you will grow rich, you won't have a family. If you really have a family, you won't grow rich. Or they are working together. They might be working together, but in some way I view them in different... Or in different perspectives. Yeah. Like you think if maybe you will concentrate on having a family, then maybe you won't be that. What you call the vibes anti or something? Rich anti-vibes. A, a yeah. rich anti-vibes. Yes. So it means maybe if you will have a family, then you will not achieve this. You are chasing at one. Yeah. Okay. Do you have already plans uh, on how to reach there? Yeah, I do. Oh, you will tell us in yes, a few. Yes, I will. Tell us, 
uh, you want to be a politician. Yes. Is, why do you want to be a politician? Okay, I'd want to be a politician because I'd want to change the political narrative of this country as it stands. Uh, honestly, Ogada, Oguda, if you are that keen, you'll realize that uh, we are not headed the right way as a, as a nation. Politicians do come, do come up with ideas and they don't get to implement. Okay, the problem with this nation, I got to understand that it's uh, we elect in incompetent leaders in the name of, okay, they're giving us manifestos, then we get to, to elect them. At the end of the day, they don't get uh, to at least cover in whatever that they have uh, come up with as manifestos in that they don't implement them. So I'd want somehow to change the narrative uh, some days. Is that what you focus on in life? Yes. Is that your priority? Because every politician says this. Every politician says, oh, I want to be different. I want, you know, we, we, we see one campaigning that I am a youth. I want to be, like for now, current politician, there's some rich guy who campaign as the poorest person on the earth. There's someone practic uh, campaigning as uh, 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 an orphan who need help. There's one campaigning as, they are campaigning on things that maybe if you focus really, you don't see them as that. So it's, uh, it's your priority to serve. Like that is, all, that is all the focus you have in life. Just like I said, the leadership sector in this country all over, every leader is incompetent. So you find in that, okay, they're just coming up with manifestos. Yes. Nobody is uh, somehow pressurizing them to give us whatever they've indicated there. So at the end of the day, I think I'd want to be different from them. Do you have personal priorities, live alone, communal? Personal priorities? Yes. I think uh, my first priority, other to say in Kiyomoka, I'd want to somehow uh, give my mom a luxurious life. Oh. I wouldn't want my mom to suffer the same way she has been suffering all along. Honestly, that's my priority in life. Was, uh, I wouldn't want to settle for marriage so long as my mom is not that stable. Oh, so marriage to you is not a priority. Your, priori your priority is your mom. My priority is my mom. Marriage Are is you not my a son priority. of a single mom? No. Oh, oh kuna, dad. Kuna dad. Yes. But that is a no for now. Yes, I'll just mend it that way. <laughs> Tell me, I have a question for you. <laughs> yes. You've talked about leadership. Let's talk now. You've gotten to that seat. You've mm -hmm. won the parliamentary or the senatorial seat. And now there's money here. You have money. You think that there's money that's going to be dispersed elsewhere. And you have an opportunity of somehow getting a bit of that to yourself, yes. what will you do? Yeah, that, 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 yes, in fact, that was that we, we are answer that, then we are coming to you to the public to show you what we have in the social media. Okay, I think uh, an honest leader should be accountable, controlled in conduct, huh? measured in reaction, then organized to the core. Huh? So, Whenever you are, okay, you are a leader, let's say you are a governor, you're getting paid. There's no need of somehow stealing. You're getting paid. So I think I'll have to put this, uh, the, the amount I'm being given, somehow to manage my county, I'll put, in, I'll put it in use. There's no need of stealing it. At the same time, I'm getting paid. Just like you, Mr. Gouda, you're oh. getting paid. Mm. So there's no need. You, you, you call someone else uh, in order to gain. <laughs> Why? Ogola is very political in nature. <laughs> very political. Every question he brings on the politics. But that same is a politician. His priority is politics. I'm here to tell you the question of the day. It is on your social media, on Facebook and on Twitter. And the question is, good morning. Ukiomoka. Utafanya nini na dozako za kwanza? Ukiomoka. Kuomoka ni, for those who are not very fluent on the current languages, wenye wajui yata kanairu ni nini. <laughs> Wanauliza ukiomoka, like if you get rich today, what will you do with your first batch 
of money. Yes, uh, that is exactly what Yvonne asked uh, Taleb. Eh? Yo, so that, that, that points out the priorities of life. What priority do you have in life? What exact priority do you have in life? What will you do with your money? And I think that is what we are here to shape. Uh, somebody started with health. You know, in where I come from, they say health is wealth. Eh? So that if you don't have health, the, the, you cannot uh, really move on. If you don't have energy to wake up every day and go hustle, you automatically will want to have something at the end of the day. I don't know what you can direct people on what to do with their wealth as their first their health as their first wealth. What do you do, especially because you told us you have a good plan in mind for your future? Well, I believe there are two aspects when it comes to health. You have your physical health and you have your mental health, and both of them go hand in hand. Like, if you are not well mentally, you cannot be able to achieve some some aspects in life. I believe all of us should actually see therapist, whether you are okay, whether you are not, and get to be guided on what to do on matters regarding your mental health. And on physical health, exercise, eat right, drink your water, do all you can mm -hmm. to become that fit person. Mm. Because without physical health, you are not you are not capable of even going to work and earning that money. Are you telling us that somebody should just be seeing therapist even if she feels she's okay mentally? You just go see somebody and ask them if you am I really okay or I'm crazy somewhere. One visit will not hurt. Oh, okay. Just go and talk. Most of us are scared to make that move, mm. but Kenyatta Hospital is doing that for free. For free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually so it's free. like people are just not aware of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually going on on Instagram that it's free. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Taleb, you have talked about physical health. Uh, what do you do? I can see you are fit. You are not uh, out of shape. You okay, I'm good. fit. Yeah, so what do you do? What makes you look fit? Okay, I think when it comes to matters of health, it's just a common sense issue. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody should be telling you to keep healthy. Uh, Morning, well in the morning, I do morning runs. At point, I play soccer. So I think those are things that can keep you fit. But mm -hmm. uh, about visiting a doctor, that's personal and uh, that's common sense uh, issue. You will not be told to visit a doctor when you feel you are She has advised well. that even if you feel you are okay, maybe you are not. And I, feel, I find some sense in it. You just go and uh, feel, you just go visit doctor and ask him, am I really okay? A liberal <laughs> opinion can now take. <laughs> yeah, I was just advising yeah. Yeah, people, and people learn you daily. To hospital. Yes, and people learn daily. It doesn't mean that if you've never visited a psychiatrist, then you should not because you feel you are okay. And uh, we are moving on to, but let's talk about food. What do you guys eat? Well, to I'm a student. To make sure that your priority is right in the future. Okay, I'm a student as, a, as, as per the moment. Yes. And sometimes you cannot, you don't eat all that you want. Mm. You eat what, what it's you available. Can, yeah, yeah, what, what's available. Yeah. But you can try and squeeze in and get yourself that, that apple, that pineapple on the road. That twenty bob watermelon, yeah. Oh, but you know it should form part of. Oh, you say economy doesn't allow you to eat what economy you want. Economy in Mbaya. But we jamaa kona do. We we kula ni, we kula ni. So babu you are politician who is aspiring. You must be having a lot of money. Okay, I'd like to somehow <laughs> concur with whatever my colleague has said. Yes, she's uh, called Yvonne. Okay, Yvonne. Yes, you are right. Uh, at times life gets too hectic. Yeah. So most of the time you cannot eat whatever that you want. Mm. Honestly, you'll uh, feel like I'm, I call myself Kiongozi, so you feel like I'm rich. No, I'm not rich. <laughs> I'm not, honestly, I'm not rich. I'm just struggling to make What are you? Ends what do you rich. call yourself? Are you poor? No, I'm not poor, and at the same time I'm not rich. Okay, Yes, Nikwapo Katikati. So personally, uh, I don't eat fruits. You don't eat fruits? To be honest. The last time I did fruit was uh, back in uh, summer of 2017. I don't eat fruits. But why? I'm, I'm you don't have money for fruits or no, something? No, not that I don't have money. Why, can you tell us why you don't eat fruit? It can be interesting. Okay, somewhat I say that uh, the reason I don't do some kinds of foods, uh, let's say you say fruits, 
is just like okay i've always wanted uh, somehow to satisfy whatever that my mom needs satisfy uh okay in terms of uh feeling that she's well off unona so most of the time nikipata do i don't get to invest in such things at in end ni cool as the fruit <laughs> A 20 bob can go a yes. long way. It can, it can go a Tell long her. way. Yeah. Caleb, are you telling the public Hi. that you've not eaten fruit from 2017? Yes, I'm just being realistic. That's because the truth. you are saving for your mom or you want your mom to have a better life. So for you, fruit is a luxury. For me, it's a luxury. <laughs> That's for me. <laughs> Ivan I want your comment on this. Okay. You are honest. Yeah. Comment on this given that maybe after this after this show Gujama will ask you a contact and maybe you start talking <laughs> things future uh -huh. with him after this. Can you can you comment? Why will you not eat fruits first? <laughs> fruits are not a luxury. It's a necessity. It's more of a basic need. Just take your 10 bob and up or chini kwa stage mwambia kupena nasi. That's not a luxury. And mm. I, I feel like you should invest more in fruits actually. Yeah, going forward. Yeah, going forward. And it's a miracle that from 2017, that's how many years now? Around four, uh, four years. And you just okay. Just like health. You told me I I look healthy. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> Imagine. I uh, will explain what I meant by you look yes, healthy. Yes, you said I look healthy. <laughs> imagine. I've not <laughs> been to the hospital uh, since uh ki to 2012. Yes, uh, uh, I've never been to the hospital. And do you attribute that to the fact that you don't eat fruits? <laughs> I think so. Oh, you get maybe vitamins from somewhere. But else. he exercises, I believe. Yes, I do exercise. Uh, yes, but Yvonne really recommends that you see a doctor. Maybe for that <laughs> length, for the length of the time you've not been eating fruits, there's something that has been eating you. So you need a doctor to tell you before it's too long so that you start eating fruits because it's necessary. God created them as sweet medicines. Eh? They are sweet medicines. We, they cure us without us knowing that they are curing us. But that aside, I'm surprised to the core that there's somebody who has not been eating fruits for four years because uh, I'm really praying for your mom. Uh, whatever the background story behind it, I know it's deep. But I'm praying that things will change, will really change. You need a personal story on what really happened. But now let's talk things relationships. Your priorities and relationships. Yvonne just told me that she will need to have a good family, vibrant okay. family and all that. I don't know the steps that you are employing right now to make sure that you won't be having uh, hip cups in your relationship, in your future, near future, that is coating, uh -huh. and then far future, that is maybe in marriage life. What are you doing now to make sure that you choose the right person? I believe that my character has been fully developed at, at, at this moment, but currently I'm not looking forward to getting into a relationship with anyone as per the moment. My priority is not there. Moment. Okay. Yes. So I secure the bug first. Uh, then, uh, when when are you planning to maybe do it? When you reach what age? How old are you now? Eighteen. You are eighteen. You're yes. Like, you're young. So, what at what age do you want to maybe start? Probably twenty-one. Oh. Yes. What are you putting in place to see that maybe you'll do it right? I'm focusing on other stuff compared to that. Other than that. You are not focused, but you know you are beautiful, and uh, I know men are doing their dues. <laughs> doing their dues. How do you manage? As it? I said, my character has been fully developed, and I, I am. Once I say that, I run. Have, have you ever been to any relationships since you were born? Yes. Any? Yes. So it's what developed your character. Yes. Oh, yes. somebody yes. did hurt you. I don't want to go there. <laughs> Let's just. I, I respect okay, I your, question, your decision. I yes, question, you, you I can ask her. Yeah. Yvonne. Okay, Yvonne, you're saying that uh, you're looking forward to our family. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, I'm getting too surprised that uh, at this age you don't have a partner. And she doesn't want even to talk about Honestly, it. 
if I go for a lady, just uh, that's just an example. If I go for a lady, and then the lady says that, okay, I'm single. Honestly, I just drop from there. Why? It's abnormal. Okay. Look at this guy. Wait, Yvonne, so you go for cup look at this you. guy now. Yvonne, Yvonne, let me ask you something. What people do I have for the for, for the panel today? Okay. Okay, I'm just I'm just getting You guys uh, are unique. I'm just getting to be lenient. Okay, Yvonne. Yeah. Uh you said you're looking forward to settle. But uh, while at, at it, at the moment you should be somehow growing mentally. That maturity in a waga more important if at all you're looking forward to settle. Because, you know, as per now, if you're not ready uh, and you're not even in a relationship, you're not even looking forward for it, immediately you start, a, uh, you start up a relationship with a guy, honestly, the guy won't understand you. I'm not lying to you. As I said, my character has been fully developed. And we all know what character development is. Yes, yes. Maybe it's not understanding, but we'll come to him also. Yeah, yeah. So what you should understand about Yvonne Taleb is that she's been through something that she doesn't want to go through again. She doesn't even want to talk about live alone going through it again. Yeah. So that is story for another day. But I also feel, Yvonne, honestly, that you need a psychological wow. counselor. <laughs> yes. Because you need to be restored back to what you should be. This negativity must stop. You I are, am not negative. You, you <laughs> loathe men. You like. Uh, there's a way you've taken men to be. Because just because of one person, there's a way you've taken us men to be. Well, some of us are very good, like Taleb is a good man oh, yeah. here. We will <laughs> talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Taleb, you are telling me, you are telling me just about your relationship life, that you are not focusing on getting a partner, just like her, because your mom is your priority. Did you say something like that? Can yes. you affirm that you said something yes, like I that? I said something like, like that. But another thing is that, okay, I've always uh, said that, uh, honestly, I don't trust ladies. <laughs> okay, in other words, hey. I've always known ladies to go for the most incompetent over the most competent. I, 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 explain. I see where you're coming. Explain, explain. Yes, okay, you just find a lady... You know, ladies at around uh, 28, they start fed fading, that's the truth. They start? At around 28, ladies always start fading. Okay, they always have that mentality. That, okay, at 26, I should be settling. Now I'm a guy. I'm at, uh, let's say I'm at 28, and the lady is at 27. She feels like I, sh I should uh, settle with her. Araka, Sindio. Me as uh, for my own, I will say that okay, I'm settling with 39. Honestly, this lady won't wait for me. Mm. She'll go to the streets and get Okay, just like Yvonne, she's in school. She'll go. She'll get a guy that deceives her. Mwambie, okay, kuja nataka kuwa. Failing to understand that I'd promised her that, okay, I'll marry you. When I'm 39, so you'll find this lady because she's unrelaxed. She'll feel like, okay, let me settle because somehow I'm fading, just like I said it. Mm. I can't at 30 mm. at a fade. And Mimi, she doesn't trust me. She has personal reasons as to why she's not settling. And you affirm to it to Kasema the how. Anachukua wanaume because of some other things in his limuapenia backwards. Mm -hmm. hold, hold, yes. Hold. Okay. Don't you feel like that you're talking from a single story <coughs> perspective? Like you're talking about maybe an instance that you had. I don't believe that all women hold that. Everyone's different. And personally, when it comes to men, my perspective might be different from another female. You know why I am so surprised or fascinated about my panel today? Here's a girl who says that it does, she doesn't want men for now because of maybe something. Uh, no, that is not a fact, priority. You say you, you flee when somebody hits <laughs> your inbox. When somebody comes to your inbox and asks for those things, <laughs> you take off. That is the word you use. You take off. Because that is not my priority at oh, the it's moment. Not there. Yes. But this guy says that maybe we'll start those things at 39. So a, a lady now at 18 like Yvonne cannot wait for that. 
Yes, she cannot wait for that because she feels like at uh, around like end of 32, she'll start fading and she wants to settle. Like, <coughs> honestly, most of the ladies settle Excuse. at 30, 30, what you should 28, do, what you should going do. backwards. <laughs> what you should do is look for, you should look for a lady that now can wait with you. No, why wait? If you are, if it, uh, he it, says, mm -hmm. he says that you will be ready by 39. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just wait up to when you are 39? Yes, now look for you, A man at 39 can get a lady Okay, at, let me tell you something. A, a lady uh, at, the, even the, at 20. There's what we call courtship. So You want to court, so, how old are you now? Okay, okay there's what we call courtship. Uh, are, are you willing to disclose your age? No, I'm not willing. <laughs> are you in third floor? Are you, are you at third floor or at, at second floor? <laughs> Are you in your 20s? That is general enough. Okay, I'm at my 20s. You are 20s? Yes. But you want to go at uh, extreme 30s, like 39 when you are almost at your 40s? Yes, but when you tell me to go for a lady at around 39, mm. it's when I start uh, relationship issues. Mm. It will take me time because I love to settle, court, and then Nijue, who am I somehow getting into a relationship with fast? Who am I marrying fast? before I get to settle. But at this age, you know, ladies do want to be given a lot of time in order to settle. Just like me, I won't just date a lady for one year and then, and then marry. No. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. You can start quoting you, at 37 you, you then. Know, yeah, you can start quoting at 37 really? when you want to marry at 39, so that you quote for two years. Okay. That is the lawyer's advice, okay, the legal advice. Let, let's clarify this. I'm not intending to marry. Anytime soon before anytime, your mom. Is anytime soon before my mom is relieved. <laughs> yes. I, I love that. I love the obsession with your mom and her well being. My only problem is that uh, what if, God forbid, something happens to her before you are, uh, you are settled? Because she's human. You know, there's a preacher called Ram when you click on Atakwambia, uh, if you focus, if you put your your focus on human being, whatever she did for you, you can we may get disappointed because humans are not are not permanent. So you may put all your priorities maybe on her Lazima Akwe Mzuri, Lazima Ishi Vizuri, and then God forbid something happens and she's not there. Will you marry now when she's not there? Okay, the second priority is uh, more much into my siblings. I think if my mom is not <laughs> that around... That is the fallback. <laughs> yes, I think if my mom is not around, I'll settle for a plan B. With my, my siblings. Your siblings. Yes. So for you, it's like women are not there on your focus. They are not part of your priorities. The no. same way to Yvonne, men are not priorities. So, wasonge nyuma. Yes, wasonge tu nyuma kidogo. Eish, wasonge nyuma. Kabitha, the ball is in my coat. Eish. Let me deal with it there. You can come later. People, you've surprised me. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I didn't see this coming. But because he mekuja, watch out we kuja because uh, that's it. And it brings us to the next point about the current state of, of, uh, of your lives. I'm told that uh, the way your future depends on how you live now. So do you think you guys live now in accordance with your future? No men are futuristic animals. You live now, that's why we have banks for men, for people, for human beings, but you don't have banks for animals because human lives, humans live Wakifocus Kesho. So are there things that you're doing today that uh, are in line with your pl future plan, starting with the phone. Yeah. Yeah, list them. Like, right now, I am mm. here with you, having a conversation. Yes. I believe that in one way or the other, it will pave way for my career in future. Maybe you'll need a lawyer. Yes. And I might be the one who's mm -hmm. going to take you through your case. Mm. And another thing, as I said, mm. I, I am a young entrepreneur. Mm. I do small businesses here and here. Yeah. Yeah, so you're doing it right. Yes. And uh, there's the part of flexibility, Taleb. Eh? Yes. The flexibility, like you are, not, you are rigid on what you want. So there's the flexibility and adaptation. You guys are not flexible on, on so many things. You are determined that it must be this way. 
at your age, this is the year when you glow best. You're very visible, you that cute. So maybe somebody in a good position is seeing you and uh, you just saying, I know, don't you think you can give it a chance, maybe say, because this person looks like he has a very bright, good future. Maybe Nikifika Ukombele Stapata a promising future like him, then I can be flexible to say, ma'am, it was a Kongea Moja Moja Bilimbili. We are not, I will not focus on his future. That is his future. Yeah. I want my own future. I want to create my future for myself. But no. you can partner in making your future better no. together. No, thank you. In partnership. Uh. What do you think, Taleb? In partnership. Partnership. You partner with a girl, you. A girl who has agreed that I will be married at 40. So you partner with her and Muagrim uh, Seme. Let us build our future together. To Kifika Uko, to Tamarika. Okay, just like I said. But I'll just uh, comment on that. I'm not interested in uh, women. <laughs> but I'll just have to comment on that. Okay. As a man, you cannot settle for a lady who seems not to have a future and is that much impressive. Just like an aspiring politician like me. I can't just go for a lady outside there. I just decide to settle with her. Politicians are people full of troubles. You don't you think you will need a lawyer like this in future as a life partner who is very focused about future? She wants to be the richest girl in yes. in Kenya. Eh? She yes, wants to be course. the richest That's girl. Your cases are solved, taken care of. Kislap mtu kwa market at yali alifunga mlango. You remember that story? That guy who closed the doors mm. because he has not been paid, and then the politician came and slapped him. You know, politicians go through that. So you will need a lawyer, you'll need a rich woman. A rich woman will le help you take care of your mom and all that. Don't you think you need somebody like this? You are right. I need someone who is learned. Hey. And this is just a learned like, friend. Just like Yvonne. <laughs> I am seeing myself convincing you out of what you, what you. I have a question for Caleb. Uh, for Caleb, what if that person with a bright future betrays you? Uh -huh. Come to think of it as such. Uh -huh. That is why I'm saying I'm not going to deal with anyone's future. I'm dealing with mine. You ask me a question. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, when it comes to matters of betrayal, everyone should expect anything. Mostly in relationships, anything can happen, just like in politics. Anything is possible. Yes. So you expect anything. Any of my liberated Kenyan, yes. I do expect anything. An outcome, whether negative or positive, I, I take it in good faith. Yes. So at the end of the day, I won't die for anybody. Okay. It's not a matter of life and death. Uh, we, we, it's, it's, it's not a do and die, uh, uh, and die thing. We, we are going to typically use your priorities for the girls out there so that maybe we can see where we can amend, we can see where we can adjust, we can see where we can uh, re remain focused to. But if I'm not wrong, I've seen your priorities to be like uh, you finish your education, you look for good money. Then what do you do with this money? Well, that is now when we get to the plan now. Hey. I believe in the 50-30-20 rule. 50% uh -huh. on my needs, 30% on my wants, and 20% on savings. Mm -hmm. But we can actually, to neither fix these or wants, mahali, equal 50-50, 50 on the needs and 50% on the savings. Save, 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 invest, invest, invest. Ukiomoka saivi le equation ilikuna liza social media. What will you spend on first? Because I will I, I invest. Oh, like maybe real estate. Talk of Bitcoin, real estate, Forex, all that. Oh, I don't know much about Bitcoin. You will tell me maybe next time. Do you still already trade in it? No, I have not started. Oh, uh, okay. Tell them. But to say me a meter now, that is one million. No, to, let's put it big, one billion now. Yes. After building a nice house for your mom and buying your mom a car and uh, opening a business for your mom and making your mom eat fruits and everything, what else will you do? Okay, just like Vona said, investment is good. But let's, let's be honest, it can't work for everyone. 
uh, there are a lot can of ways. Can it work for you okay. personally? It can work for me yeah. personally. Yes. But you know I'm talking, General. I'm generalizing things. Yeah, so we want to use you to the boy child, eh? To yes. see uh, what the priorities you have in life and maybe how we can go about amending them. Okay, I'll end up investing. I'll go for passive income. What do you mean passive income? Passive income, nile. Okay, you just, you don't get to struggle at lazima uamke asubui is when you, you earn. Oh. Una invest, hey. after investing, just like real assets, like you said, hey. una invest, just sit down. Hata kama ujenda kazi, you, you can just, sleep, but pesa inaingia. Pesa inaingia too. Uh -huh. I advise everyone to go for that because uh -huh. we don't have the same potential. Uh, wewe, somehow you are lazy, somehow mimi am ad working. I'll be waking up each and every time uh, for my business. And another person who is lazy will be at the house and alala. Yes. Each and every morning. Yes. And again, uh, out of uh, passive income, I'll try out, look for an idea that can favor, okay, a business that can favor both the graduates and those who are not graduates. Yeah. Uh, because uh, honestly, the job market in this country is not that favorable, and the government itself cannot fight it on its on their own. So what we do is that they also need intervention from us. We help them after investing that uh, to say that business. We get uh, to at least just the best way to mend it to talk on a safer position. Yes. Then there are, there are daily habits that, uh, that uh, take us to the goals. Eh? Uh, you, let's start with you. Can you tell us how you spend your day from when you wake up to when you go back to sleep, maybe in relation to how you want to achieve these priorities in your life? I'm going to be honest. At what time do you wake up, you start with that? I mostly depends with how my schedule is for the day. Okay, if I have a class, I'm going to be up by seven. If I do not have a class, I'm going to be up by nine or 10. I'm not going to lie to anyone. Yes. <laughs> okay. When I depend, but it's okay. Go on, tell us now how you spend your day. Starting with, you wanted to really be honest, so just be honest and tell us. Uh, after waking up, I get ready for the day freshen up and if I have classes I attend my classes, go have lunch with my friends and classmates. In the evening come back again. The cycle continues to repeat mm. itself like that. But okay, being a debater I've gotten platforms where let's say today I'm doing a, I'm having a debate here, having a debate in other school. So my schedule is that is oh. on what I'm doing. But is it contributing to you what you want to achieve yes, on, yes. on your priorities of life? Yes. How do you think it's doing that? Okay. First of all, I attend classes. Oh. So it's contributing to my degree. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. And being a debater, it's giving me the platform for people to see me and know me. Uh, do you aspire to be a politician or you want to leave the debates? I at actually this? once inspired to be one, but the dream died. I'm not. Going. Then where will you be debating? Because people debate in parliaments and all that. No, no. It's just the university platforms for now. Okay. I've not thought of it outside school. Okay. Tell, tell, tell us what you do when you wake up till... Okay. Schedule. I go to bed around uh, 2 a.m. Wakes up at around 5. You go to bed at 2 a.m.? Yes. Sanani? Yes. Yausiku? Yes. Then you wake up at... Wakes up at around uh, 6 or 5.30. What a contrast. At what time do you go to bed? Depending. It can be 11 or 12. Okay. What do you do up to Sanane? I read political books. <laughs> yes, I read political books. I watch uh, documentaries. Political documentaries? Yes. Yeah, so you do a lot of political research. Yes, I do a lot of political research. Then uh, from morning on daily basis, yes. Okay, I do socialize with pol politicians, who tends to be my friends. Oh. So most of the time, I always want to be with them around, just to focus towards the future. I'd want to see what they are putting in, that will make me succeed as to how they have.
Yes. Yes. So you are, it's like all your focus is on future politics. Yes. Do you have a fallback plan in case, like now you want to vie for, are you vying in 2022? I'll uh, vie probably. Oh. Uh, the fundings are the problems. Yeah. But I'll vie somehow 2027. Oh. Yes. You are sure of 2027? Yes, Langata Ward. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Sawa so Kiongozi, that's your priority in life. Our future debater, our future lawyer, and a future politician, and your priorities are set that you will achieve them. I want to hear what uh, some people said here about uh, their priorities in life. And as I told you, we asked you the priorities that you have in life, and uh, many of you have commented. So this is what I'm uh, going to go through. First, they say via Maestro Mula. He says, with money, there must be different wants and needs. And finally, goals. Uh, pesa, una save, invest, and at least love yourself. Ujipige, sherehe, anticipate to be broke. Also, after having money, helps you mentally. This is what most youths do. Wana piga, wana jipiga sherehe. Like, wakipata tu pesa. Nile, Kuna pombe, kuna what? Kuna mwili pole. Yeah, that is what Brenda said at Twitter. Brenda, Brenda Mora said, the first thing ni kujipigia mwili pole. Siji nani alipiga mwili ndi ipigiwe pole and all that. But there is also Dorcas Chenge, you're watching and following from YT. Dorcas Karibu, there is um, somebody called Otinya Konseshe Jonathan. She's watching from Huisero. I was there yesterday. I passed through Huisero on my way to Busia. But we Huisero now. Hui. I have to pronounce it right. Huisero. I now apenda. Dan atani piga nikitoka hapa nikisema vibaya. And then there is somebody called uh, Otinya. Otinya also says big up. And then there is Keith Omundi who says nyumba moja mbwaya u. Uh, Mbwaya uko siaya. I don't know what you mean by this, but I believe that you are saying that you are watching from siaya and all that. There is Ib Ibrahim Haemba Wasike who says, Pea mwili pole, kwani nikesho. Pea mwili pole, kwani nikesho. Like, uh, uyu wana ata plan ya kesho, anasema kipata pesa ni ya kupiga mwili pole tu saizo. And then there is... Uh, uh, Kip Korir Edwin says watching live from Eldoret and then there is uh, Dennis Munene saying nitatafuta akilimzuri unatafuta akilimzuri na pesa like ukipata leo unapata akilimzuri kwani akilimzuri ubaiwa <laughs> okay sawa so. then there is Morris saying Morris warengai nyongeza saying uh, wa muchanja cabras in Wa muchanja, like he comes from muchanja. Then this mwenye pesa nasema, uta, uta umoka aje na hakuna kazi. Pole, pole, understand you. We were discussing about depression, about uh, which is brought about by unemployment. Kama hakuna kazi, tunakuombea brother. There's somebody watching us, uh, kiwa USA, na itua chero, mpendwa, katelo. We, salimia anko Barack Obama. Lao engine. And then there's dumb. Denmark sec anasema oyaro estate nani then there is uh, B D Ashley watching from Macha then uh, we are Macha na coach pia uh, Yvonne <laughs> then there is Moxe saying kaboom kaboom aje sasa na tunakuliza kitu utafanya na pesa then there is Masinde kutoka vumilia Anasema I'm watching from Uasingishu County. Mimi nikipata doza kwanza lazima nitamaliza bizi yangu ya chipu. Wow, big up. We uko na plan. Uko na bizi ya chipu. Then there is King Ma Maris. Anasema King Maris from Kangari. Mi nikiomoka na za built a unique house. Then niweke ka job. Hmm, this is a good plan. Then there's Marshall finally. Marshall Samora from Africa. He say hi. The topic is great. I like this young guys. Umnapendwa. Umnapendwa. And then I say I would like I would uh, I would wish uh, I wish I could get the lady to debate with that Bungela Wanainchi. 
and kindly let us know how I can go to become part of such programs. See to Tonga after this, we can piano after this, and then we uh, will see social media handles. Yes. Yeah. So after to see my night one with a dot after every letter. Oh, it's in Denya, but kuna dot after every letter. You in Facebook, eh? Instagram, no. Oh, oh Instagram. Yes. See, you are only in Instagram. Yes. Ako Instagram peke yake, but not after Denya. So after N, there's dot. After T, there's dot. Yes. Yeah. So, kimtaka kwa bunge la mwana inchi, just do you are do. I think our time is much, much, much spent. So, from starting from you, Denya, I want you to, from this camera, uh, give us your final comments in 30 seconds on how girls should really focus on their priorities in life. You know what you want and you know who you are and I believe we all have a plan to achieving all what we want. Shikilia that plan that you have. Know what, know what to do in the your plan ikue. Like sour ama you get what you want and that is all I can say. Thank you Ndenya. Yeah. Then we have Kiongosi Taleb. Taleb, what do you say? Okay, I, I'll, tell my, I'll tell my fellow men outside there to focus. Don't be afraid to, be, to dream big. Dream big so as to prepare for the future. If you are somehow dreaming to be a politician in future, just go for it. Go for whatever that your intuition is telling you. Okay. So, vile unalivu za hii, nitajitama in vile utaka kesho. So, as my good people have said, there are extremes like people who don't eat fruits, or people who just know that their parents are everything. So, we unajua vile unajua, don't get discouraged, but do something that will build on your future tomorrow. This is Kayesu, and this is why in the morning, and this is why at 5-4. It's been great having you on talking priorities in life. Up next, we have... Um, Tano Kali with uh, uh, DJ Pera, salute. Mtuwa kikukati ya usi. Imagine.